In this video we will present an easy way to create quilt blocks based on a part of your design. Let's describe using an example. Select an object, that is a whole design or a part of it, which you would like to include into the block. We will select this whole design and right click to use the ambient scrolling option. The following dialog will appear for you to adjust the options of the quilt block. In the border area you define the size of the complete quilt block. Press the lock icon to enable proportional sizing, which means that if you change one of the dimensions, the other one is automatically updated to keep the same proportion. In the shapes area you can see the size of the selected design part. This is just a reference to help you define the block size. In other words, you cannot resize the object from this dialog. In the properties area, you can define the fill type of the block and relative parameters. There are three types of fill for the quilt block. Echo, scroll and stippling. Using the offset value, you can set the distance between the object and the first quilting line. Additionally, using the density, you can define the distance between the quilting lines. If you wish to have the same offset and density values, you can click the lock icon to lock the values together and then any density value you set shall be set as offset distance as well. Using the echo type, Auto border lines are created following the shape of the object in order to fill the quilt block. When you enable the clip on border option, the auto border lines keep repeating until they are clipped by the size of the quilt block. If you don't use clip on border, the software actually creates auto border lines of the object as well as auto border lines of the quilt block and these are blended together. The scroll type creates a similar effect to echo without clip on border. The difference though lies in the way of stitching as the software produces continuous stitch lines which makes production much easier. And finally, when using the stippling line, the quilt block is filled with stippling fill around the object starting from the defined offset.